Big Lou, Big Lou Barbecue, and other things I want to do. And let me tell you what I got going on for you. Feels like meeting up with an old friend, y'all. I got another grill deal. All right, I love grill deals. Like the time when I bought my Coleman Profane uh, grill, tabletop grill. Uh, I set retails for like 80 bucks. I got it for 25. Coleman's updated the model since then. I got it about eight years ago. When I got my Weber kettle, $99 Weber kettle, I got it for 50. The Stoke grill that sells for $129. I got for 38 bucks, y'all. I like grill deals. Look at this one. Weber Smokey Joe, same salvage store I got that Stoke grill from, all right? Love a Weber Smokey Joe, I really do. In fact, I gave a review on one last year after using it at my mom's, but you know what? This is my first rodeo with the Weber Smokey Joe. I had one back in college in the late 80s and early 90s. <sighs> yeah, I know, I went to college. Can you believe that? Let me tell you, it was hard. It was hard cramming four long years of rigorous study into five short years of carefree partying. But when I was doing the carefree partying, the Weber Smoky Joe was with me, had a wooden handle. Got one uh, when I got married. Uh, by that time in the late 90s, it had the uh, GRN, the glass reinforced nylon handles like this one has. Uh, and I hadn't seen that since the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina back in 2005. So I hadn't had one since then. So it's been a dozen years or so since I've had one, but hey, a dozen bucks. I got one again. So, what are we gonna cook on it? Let's do some Mexican hot dogs. What's that you say? That's kind of where we take white corn, flour corn. You can take, excuse me. You can take tortillas. White flour tortillas, white corn tortillas, or yellow corn tortillas, your preference, and you wrap the hot dogs up in that. But not only that, we're stop stuffing the hot dog weenies with cheese, cheddar cheese, whatever cheese you want, all right? Big Lou at Barbecue, that's our first cook on the Weber Smokey Joe. It's like meeting up with an old friend, y'all. Big Lou, Barbecue. Okay, the first thing we need to do is steam the tortillas. I have a stack of eight here, and I'm gonna add about three or four more because I'm gonna make a few extra. And um, what happens is these tortillas, they can be kind of brittle, so you can't bend them, they'll crack. So we steam them. So we uh, get soaking wet paper towels. You know, I'll put these, and uh, we're just gonna fold them up like this. I'm gonna put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Be okay, right back. you wanna cut cheese into strips. So I got a block of cheese. I already cut a block of it off of there. See, that was right there, okay? And then we just wanna cut it into little strips. Like that, that's good. That was a little small. That's about right, like that. And just cut the cheese up, and this is um, cheddar, all right? So just cut it into strips like that. Okay, now for the uh, hot dog, take a knife, a sharp knife, don't cut your finger, and don't cut all the way through it. Just kind of cut, cut it like you're going to cut it in half long way, but just so it kind of butterfly it open like that, okay? And then just stick the cheese in it. Well, that didn't go too well, did it? There we go, like that, and like that. Just kind of break it to fit so it goes the whole length of the um, hot dog weenie or frankenfurter or whatever you want to call it. Salchicha. Okay. Then once you have that, these uh, tortillas have been in the microwave and look, they got to get hot. I said 30 seconds, but these actually went about a minute and 15. They got to get hot so that they'll be pliable. If they're not uh, pliable and they're still cracking, then you can't do this, all right? And you just take it. And you just wrap it up. Actually, I want to wrap it up where the um, fold is on the bottom. So we're going to do it like this. So you just take it and wrap it up. And there we go. There's one. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll watch the cheese one more time. Just in case you missed it, all right? Don't let the hot dog go all the way in half. Just get the cheese stuffed inside it like that. Try to make it go all the way to the edge. All right, wrap up another one. And there we okay. go. Okay, I've uh, loaded them up in my uh, kebab baskets. Each kebab basket holds two and it makes it real convenient. I like doing these in the kebab baskets. It's, all you do is you open the basket, you set one in that side, and you set one in the other side, close the basket down, lock it in place. 
Now, what if you don't have the kebab baskets? Can you still make these? Of course you can. Here's one I tied up a butcher string, okay? Uh, butcher string's a little more difficult of the two methods to do it without a kebab basket, but it works, all right? The other method is just stick a toothpick through it. So these, I've just stuck a toothpick through it and you just turn them on the grill with tongs, okay? All right, let's go get the grill thrill on. Okay, these coals are just about ready and I wanna share a little secret with you. I don't know why it is if Weber planned it this way, but it's almost as if they did. You see, if you take a Weber charcoal chimney and you turn it upside down and you feel the part that you normally put the paper or the um, lighter cubes, I usually light mine with leftover charcoal bags from the previous bag, you know. Um, if you turn it upside down and feel this part with charcoal, all right, it's the exact same amount of charcoal you need for the bottom of the Weber Smoky Joe. I don't know if Weber planned it that way, but it's almost as if they did. Pretty cool, y'all. Well, I think these are about ready. Neighbors sighting in a gun for hunting season. It's summer, but somebody's shooting down there. Love living in the country. Love it. All right, sorry about that. Missed that on camera right there. That's about what we need. All right. Spray the... Um, grid down oh you're not supposed to do that you ever see spray oil in the can genius ever made this spray the grate down oil. all right now that the grate is installed correctly you don't need to spray it with oil if all the um, mexican hot dogs you're doing is in the uh, kebab baskets but if you have some like on the toothpicks or something go ahead and spray the grill down with oil all right one two three four just like that and we're gonna heat them on this side and we're gonna turn them 90 degrees, turn them 90 degrees, turn them 90 degrees, and we're gonna be done. Look at that. Still had room for the ones on the toothpick and the string. All right, about time for a turn. So we go 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Been just a few minutes. You can kind of smell them. I need to turn these with tongs. 90 degrees. Just like that. I'm gonna do a toothpick and kind of pick up and do it. All right, time for the next turn. Boom, boom, boom. Love these kebab baskets for all kinds of things other than kebabs. These are gonna be a little harder. Excuse me. Ooh, that's hot, man. Should have used the tongs. All right, you can see that the hot dogs are plumping up and the cheese is beginning to drip on the coals when it's in that position. So you want to go ahead and turn it that last 90 degrees. All right. And we'll turn these. Like that. And like that. Okay, time to take these off of here. These you got to take off with tongs. But these, just grab them all at once. Okay, these are ready. For the toothpick ones, you can just pull the toothpick out like that. Just easy like this. And there you go, you've got one, all right? So you don't need the baskets. For the string one though, you actually got to cut the string loose, okay? And you need a sharper knife to do it with. We'll do that later. For these, open it up, pop them out, boom. 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 And boom. All right, let's cut one open. Go with this one right here. It's, it's kind of crispy. Looks like that. Got a little char in. Some people like char, some people don't. All right. Looks like that all on the inside. The cheese is gooey and ooey. Look at that. Mm -mm. All right, let's serve. Okay, I've got a toothpick one and a basket one. Can you tell which one is the toothpick one? Sure you can. There's the hole right there. Other than that, they don't look bad. Now, 
You can serve it with a uh, red salsa. You can serve it with uh, salsa verde, which is green salsa. You can serve it with A1 sauce, mayonnaise, mustard, whatever you want. I'm just going to do it just like this and just put some salsa verde on top, just like that right there. Mm -mm. All right. There it is with the salsa. Oh, they almost slipped off. Oh, that's not good, y'all. I'm going to be fancy and eat it with a fork. Look at that. All that gooey cheese in there. Mmm. I love these little things and the kids do too. All right. Big Lou the Barbecue. If you want to, just eat it with your fingers. Dip it like taquitos. Thanks for watching. You'll see, me, see more of my Weber, Smokey Joe, real soon.